Hey y'all, welcome back to Bourbon and Book Reviews. This is the channel where we sit bourbon and talk about black books. I'm rooting for um everybody black. Today I am drinking Basil Hayden. It is my number one absolute favorite bourbon. It's a brand new bottle, as you can see, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Jeez, they definitely changed this. I don't remember this being this difficult to open. I just turn it. No, I can't. Ah, there it goes. You gotta get through the foil first, apparently, with this freaking sticker on it that's sticking to my hands. Okay. As always, I'm gonna measure out my shot first. My nice alligator shot glass boom for that oh, if you decide not to drink it straight and you want a mixer i highly recommend a ginger ale um canada dry is fine i just wanted to be fancy with my bottle but please for the love of god do not put coke in this drink ruins it. ginger ale ginger ale something light and clear Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there. If you are looking to dabble in bourbon for the very first time, definitely recommend you start with Basil Hayden. Um, it's super smooth, flavorful. It does not burn when it goes down. And if you throw some ginger ale in there, it is just absolutely perfect. Yep. The best bourbon ever. Before I get started with the book, I want to shout out my 43 subscribers. I'm very happy that after only three videos, I already have 43 subscribers. That to me is amazing. So thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. The book I'm gonna be reviewing today, if you caught in my last video, my hint is a highly anticipated young adult fantasy novel, The Gilded Ones. This book is by Namina Forna. So first things first, the good things. There are many, 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 many good things about this book. It's wonderful. It's so, 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 so good. I haven't read a book that kept me reading like this in a really long time. I was really wondering when I started it if it was going to live up to all the hype and it absolutely did. The Gilded Ones is about uh, a young girl, 16 years old, named Decca. Uh, who lives in a small village and every year when the girls in the village uh, turn 16 they have to go through a ritual where their uh, skin is cut and this is to see if their blood runs red which means that they're pure or if it runs gold which means that they are a demon of course when Decca goes through this ritual her blood bleeds gold this means she is subject to the death mandate, which means that the villagers, the, the priests of the village, are going to try to kill her. But when they try to kill her, it doesn't work. So Decca is then uh, swept away by this mysterious character named White Hands and taken off to the palace to train as a warrior because this gold blood makes her really, really strong and gives her powers um, that other people don't have. She's a very special girl. This all happens within the very beginning of the book. I promise it's not a spoiler because you can read it right here on the flap. This book deals mainly with themes of sexism, specifically sexism in religion, all through the medium of a fantasy world. The character development in this book is fantastic. Decca and a lot of the other girls that she's training to be a warrior with grow up uh, believing that if their blood is gold, that they're inherently evil, that they're demonic. Decca in particular believes that she is um, inherently unworthy of good things, unworthy of a husband, unworthy of having a family, simply because her blood is gold. Throughout the book, she is unlearning all of those things and is starting to change the way that she thinks about herself. The plot was um, a really strong element to this book. There is a nice air of mystery about it. 
So even though this is not a mystery book, uh, when you're reading it, there's a, a lot of pieces to the puzzle that you're trying to figure out. From the very beginning, you know that there is something not quite right about this story that the priests and all the other men in the book are telling these girls about people who have, or women who have gold blood. Because what kind of story would this be if Decca really was a demon or really was a demonic person and not something else, something good? the whole entire book I was wondering okay so what's really going on what are the gilded ones really because I didn't believe the story that Decca had been told the author manages not to reveal the truth until the very 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 end of the book so this really creates this page turning element speaking of page turners uh the chapters almost always ended in a way where there was some kind of tension where you just kind of wanted to keep reading and see what was going to happen next. I read this book really, really fast, like in half the time that I gave myself to actually finish it. Another mysterious element um, was the character called White Hands. She kept her secrets close to her chest and had an uncanny talent of not answering questions. All right, then keep your secrets. She was a person that I wondered about throughout the entire book. Like, what is her end goal really? What is she doing? What are her secret plans? Because she's obviously got secret plans. So like, what is she doing? What is she all about? Is she good? Is she bad? I don't know. And you don't find out until the end. Another mysterious element. So there's these creatures called Death Shrieks. And this is the main reason why uh, the Emperor has recruited these um, girls with gold impure blood to fight in his army is because of these death shrieks and the death shrieks attack villages and they take people away and they're killing killing people ripping them limb from limb and all this crazy stuff and over the course of the book Decca encounters death shrieks more and more and over that time period she starts to realize that maybe they are not quite what she had been told they were so she starts to wonder if they're actually intelligent and not like these mindless killing machines as she had been told. That is yet another question that goes unanswered for almost the entirety of the book. You don't find out until almost the very end. I loved that this book addressed sexual abuse, specifically sexual abuse of young girls, and it didn't have anything detailed on the page, unlike the last two books I read, which admittedly, this is a young adult book and those were adult books, but still, it did it in a way you know, where it just didn't need to show the abuse on the page in detail. Oh, thank God. It's just enough information to piss you off, but not enough that you want to go take a shower afterward. These girls went through so much pain, both physical and mental, simply because of the color of their blood and the belief that that blood made them demonic. And it was so wonderful to watch them over the course of the book to become empowered and to change the way that they thought about themselves and to learn that maybe everything that they have been taught about themselves isn't quite all the way true that they are good that there is some good in them i have very little negative things to say about this book um, and what i do say that's negative i don't think it should stop you from going out and buying it and reading it Hurry up and buy! one i wish that decca's relationship with her love interest had developed a little bit more slowly and a little bit more in detail i wanted to see more of them spending time together <laughs> you do get that i just think this book was more plot focused and plot driven than it was character driven which is fine it's fine but that relationship could have been um on the page a little bit more could have gotten more airtime it works as it is it works just fine but for me it is like just this much short of being perfect another thing that bugged me was that near the end of the book Decca needed to convince a large number of people like in the thousands needed to convince a large number of people to betray their commanders and the emperor while at war um, and then she just convinces this large number of people to betray their emperor and their commanders while at war. It didn't seem like much of a challenge. She was just like, hey guys, betray them. And they're like, all right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Every single one of them too. Like it wasn't like some people went with it and other people didn't. Everybody basically was like, yeah, let's do it. So I felt like at least some people should have like 
not listen to her. The ending overall felt a little bit too quick for me. I just wanted it to be teased out a little bit more. It wasn't horrible or anything. It was still good. Just, you know, like I said, I wanted it to be teased out a little bit more. Those were really the only things that stood out to me um, in a way that I didn't like. But it was for me small things. Like if you were to read this book, it's it's really high quality storytelling. It's just, you know, th those things, they're small. It's still a really, 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 really good book. And because I'm a reviewer, I'm, I think, a little bit more nitpicky. If you read this, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I forgot to mention this very, 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 very gorgeous cover with this very beautiful black woman, black teen on the cover with this elaborate gold and this elaborate armor. Absolutely wonderful. So that was my take on the highly anticipated young adult fantasy novel, The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you were able to enjoy a drink while you watched. If you like my review, please click the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you never miss any of my videos. All right, guys, that's all for today. Cheers and see you next time.